Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we're gonna talk about randomness and how you can actually achieve some random values and why randomness is not the randomness all the time. So if you're thinking what the hell, what do you mean by that? Well stay tuned. This is one up indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video and to do show you right from the start why random is not random. Let's say I have this apple random thingy and put one, two, three, four into the room and what does it do? Well, once it's created, pick a random image index which is one of those guys here. So it will pick a random one and for example if you are paying now close attention, you will see, okay, we get a cherry, apple, egg, and then apple. And for example, once we start again, you would expect that it would pop out different kind of things. But wait, cherry, apple, egg, apple. Okay, maybe let's do it once again. And you will see the same result. Why do I know that? Well, because I've made the tutorial, so of course I know. So why is that happening? Why do we get the same results? Well, this is based on seeds. And random values are not completely random because they are based on a seed. And because random values don't really exist in, well, in generally they don't really in, in exist in informatics. So basically this is just a thing which you have to steer by yourself. So how can you make completely random values? You just go for random mice. And just do it once in one of the starting objects and for example now it will pop out every time a different random value as you can see 3x sweet and start it again and now you see definitely uh well, 2x one apple and so on and for example but if you say okay so what are seeds seeds are basically just a combination or a sequence of kind of random value. So for example, if you just say random and then you get set seed, get seed. So for example, if you just say, all right, I want to have the same stuff happen every time again. And you just go in for a number like this. doesn't really matter. I quite a lot of seeds, to be honest. And let's go. Oh, that is a nice seed for green <laughs> uh, X. And let's start it again. Four green eggs. So how do, did we do that? Well, this seed is kind of a sequence and that you stored in well, this kind of number and then you can kind of recreate what you wanted to do with a sequence of random numbers, which is kind of a good thing. So another thing besides having those seeds and doing some randomizing is how you can actually do randomizing. So for example here, that thing just saying, all right, Let's go between a, a, a value between 0 and 8 and take one out. So just choose one. But because we have an i here, because actually we can do something like this, then it would return values, but they are between 0 and 8, but they can be, I don't know, 7 point something, uh, something like this. And you don't want that because image indexes are full numbers. That's why we have i, which stands for integer and integers are full numbers so this is how you can do that so basically you can go for a random as you can see random range so you you have the range which can of course go for minus something like this to plus so that is not not a problem that is possible or you just go and say no 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 random and put in a number but that just means it goes ugh, hello that, that just goes between a number between 0 and 20, which can be, of course, 18.5, something like this. It doesn't really matter. Oh, again, once you go for the i random, bam. This is just another way to express a few things. And for example, if you just want not to do some numbers, you can, of course, go for choose because I'm lazy. Choose for me, then choose, I don't know, apples. Ooh, if I write it wrong, apples, oranges, because I have no idea what I'm writing here, and so on. And for example, this would choose one of those. And of course, you can 
have the odds on one side because you like apples more than oranges then well the odds are three to one but of course that would be make uh, throw an error because well we need a number here but for example this is another way to do randomness and that was basically it hopefully you learn something and know how to do that in your game now have a good one one up indie